Okay, epic boss fight. Here we go. Eat shotgun. Come on, get back up. And now he's crimson zombie form. <laughs> I highly doubt he's dead already, but... Okay, Come on, great evil. Now what's this over here? More shotgun shells? Thank you very much. Is there something in his casket? A switch? Yeah. Whoa. Cool. Alright. Wait. The following inscription is carved into the indentation. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Mm, not exactly the best phrase I'd pick. Unless he's going to come back and kill me. I don't exactly have any kerosene on me, but let's examine this. Nothing unusual with the back. An emblem is carved onto the octagonal object. It's all white. It's all red. This might actually be that thing for that doorknob and dispenser family thingy. I mean, yeah, it's possible. Oh, my health's down to yellow. Way to go. And I'm still a little bit scared to go take on that snake. I mean, that thing was huge. You saw it. Yeah! Okay. However, I feel like we ought to go use the dispenser family crest thing, or at least that's what I'm thinking it is. Why? It's got that emblem thing in the middle. And now I'm trying to remember where it goes. Mmm. Trying to remember where I need to go to use it. I know I could easily just watch a previous video, because I... Ah, there we go. Uh-huh. Alright. believe I got it now. And I got shotgun ammo in case I come across anything threatening. Though hopefully I, I shouldn't need to use it. I want to save as much ammo as I can. I made that evident several times already. And for right now I just decided to talk into this for us. Yeah, pretty much from a very young age I've been able to adapt or change my voice. And this one I sort of started up after Lilo and Stitch, mainly because I can talk like Stitch when I'm doing this one. Just um how I am Stitch. See? But I've been able to do funny stuff with my voice like that for a while. Like right now, I'm talking like some kind of weird person from the south who ain't got nothing better to do with his time. Yeah, you know, let's use that crest. That's not it. Crud. What to do with it then? I ain't got an idea. My brain's been racked. Maybe that wind crest will do something to it. Like, maybe I have to combine it. I'm not so sure that'll work well, but it's better than nothing. And we got ourselves a running crimson head. We're out of here. There's no place for us here. Ah, Chris Redfield. You gotta get your butt somewhere, and this isn't... And all this nonsense is not helping out. Maybe you got to kill that snake. Yeah. However, I do not think it's the best idea to go tackling him head on like that. Maybe you need to carry some herbs with you or some. Something that will help you fight it off, you know. Yeah. But I'm not quite sure what I would use for that. Well, there are herbs all over the place. That's not the question. The question here is, where do I go other than snake? 
Am I supposed to fight the snake? Is there any way around it for right now? Or do I just have to take it head on? In that case, I'm screwed. But in any other case, I'm willing to take a second approach. Enough of that voice now. I don't know if you like it or not. I kind of do, personally, but... Eh, don't have time to be worrying about voices. I seriously not sure what I'm supposed to do other than fight the snake. Now I'm going to try the wind crest. I mean, it was kind of octagonal in shape. And the stone and metal object, which obviously is not the crest that I was thinking it was. Maybe the wind crest goes onto it or something. I mean, it's sort of indented and maybe it'll fit. Oh yeah, and Mr. Poisoned by Snake Guy is getting better. And there goes the clock again. Alright. Ah, oh, it's not octagonal. Will it work though? Nope. Nothing unusual. Nikon depicting wind. So you don't notice that crack in it. Okay, so that's not what the wind crest is for. I am so lost right now. Maybe a blue gemstone? Nope. Oh yeah, and I do notice that while watching the videos, when I pull up a menu or something, it tends to get staticky. I do not know what's up with that, and I apologize for anyone who hates that sound as much as I do. Well, we got an old key. Guess we're going to fight the snake. <sighs> Alright. This is going to be a bunch of fun. And... I'm not sure why I didn't save it. I did fight off that one boss. Although, I probably should have had some kerosene or something. I'm kind of scared to go back to the graveyard. He's probably going to pop up and go... <laughs> and I'm like, ah, I'm being eaten! He's like, I don't care. And I'm just sitting here raining my head off with stupid stuff. Sorry, again. Uh, where do I go? 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 Okay, over there. Yeah, I see. And more running around aimlessly, trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do now, after the epic boss fight of... Big zombie person. Uh-huh. Yeah, in case you haven't... You can't tell, I'm kind of worn out from all the endless talking during walking scenes. Main reason? There's not much to talk about that would constitute me continuously talking and on while running around this mansion. I guess I could talk about things that have been bothering me about certain games, like... Well... This, for instance, where you have to burn the entire zombie body instead of just the head, thus saving a lot more kerosene. And if it were a real-life situation, I would probably end up doing that. But, I mean, there's just other things in video, certain games that make me feel like common sense would have been much better used. Of course, right now I'm not thinking of anything. During lunch today, I had a few. Well, Senor Snakey, it's time to get your punishment. Or for me to die, whichever is first. I don't really know. Whoa! How did he hit me?
No more ammo? Oh, he was reloading. Die, Snakey. Come on. Ah, he's running away. Whoa, huh? That was weird. I'm probably, yep, out of ammo. That's not good. Well, there's bound to be something else useful up here. I did fight off another boss.